I knew it when it happened that you guys would just label me a murderer. And here it is five years later, five years. <laughs> So I, I said earlier we would explain to you why Nate is considered to be the murderer of our family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you've already heard this story, uh, it's always great to gather around the campfire and hear it again. <laughs> mm -hmm. So who wants to tell the story other than Nate? Oh, I would love to hear somebody else's version. Oh, I'll tell. I, I think I know exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is what me, I... you do a little bit of it, and then Gandhi can take over. We'll okay. each take a part of the story. Okay, okay. so Nate went on a date with a girl, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think she was cold, and so he gave her uh, his jacket. Mm -hmm. And from what I remember, she kind of disappeared with the jacket. Gandhi? Kind of disappeared. Nobody ever heard from her again. Nate never got the jacket, and from what we know, he killed her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That right? <laughs> well, and it's the thing is, is she ghosted him, right? But like a real ghost, because she's dead. Yes. So, yeah. Because you know, Nate doesn't like rejection. So she, as I remember, she was cold. You gave her the use of your seersucker jacket. Correct. Yeah. Oh, right. Got I remember the seersucker part. It's all too. about details. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seersucker. That's right. And then she went home, and you never heard from her again. Mm -hmm. And she she kept your jacket. Mm -hmm. Our feeling was that you murdered her. Yeah. Uh-huh. Murdered. Now, why did we feel she murdered he, he murdered her? Well, because I never heard from her, her again, and this was just my excuse to basically get out of it. It was my alibi, the fact that I never the heard jacket. from her again. The jagged. And right. so <laughs> you were yeah. right up until the very end. Yes, I, I did give her my jacket. It was seersucker. She was cold. She got into that cab, never heard from her again. Mm -hmm. Never texted me, never called me. And then you, actually it was a texter, the text in and said, hey, how do we know Nate just didn't murder her, throw her body in a dumpster and say exactly. that she took right. his jacket and we as an alibi? We didn't know. We did. So that's when we <laughs> opened up the world of possibility to uh, the fact that our Nate murdered her. Yep. <laughs> no. Not a murderer. Could it have been murder? Okay, murder. so where's the jacket now? Where is she? I uh, don't know. Never heard from her again. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys are making me into like a modern day Stephen Avery. I didn't do this. Uh, but that's so you met her on, how did you meet her? I uh, was Tinder, Bumble, t did Bumble. She, did she block you after that? Was there ever a way to reach back out to her? Uh, I, I desperately tried to get in touch with her, but there's no response. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you Those can't respond. That's what a murderer would say. Yeah. Yeah, Hard murder to respond when you're dead. dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> anyway, so I don't know. It's a jacket. That was, I'm sure, knowing you, that, you, that wasn't an inexpensive jacket. You probably spent some... It was a great jacket. I love exactly. that thing. It seems I, like you would have worked a little harder to get that jacket back and I, find I, out why she ghosted you like that, but you didn't. I bet getting ghosted and losing your jacket made you real mad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So then, ever since that moment, and I knew it, I knew it when it happened, that you guys would just label me a murderer, and here it is five years later. Five years. <laughs> right. You've well, been calling me a murderer. And you're that known as you the... do it. Cases go cold, Nate. I mean, that's what happens. Well, just right. like her, just like her body. No, nope. if she's uh. still alive, Nate. I don't know. I'm telling she you, is, I don't know. You could text her real quick and say, "Hey, can I have my jacket back from five years ago?" I, and we'll see if she responds. I got rid of that number and all that stuff. There's no yeah, evidence. Yeah, you wouldn't scrub that out of your life. <laughs> you <did. laughs> I'm not a murderer. Did, I wouldn't. Did yeah. she know your job? Does she know what you do? Ah, uh, yes. So there's mm. a chance that for the last five years. If she were alive, she would have heard us talking about this and known how much you wanted your jacket back and that we were accusing you of being a murderer and maybe she would have stepped out of the shadows were she alive. Right. Okay, good mm. point. Fairly good point. <laughs> People are asking questions on text. Were you wearing that uh, mustache when you went out with her and murdered her? No. <laughs> I, was, I had scruff that night, if I remember uh, correctly. Someone texted in, mm. he used his jacket to wrap her lifeless body when he disposed of it. Maybe. Yes. Hmm. Well, I mean, I do know if you do kill someone, you're supposed to get rid of the clothing that you're wearing. Mm -hmm. I know that much. Because it, it has their DNA on it. You're supposed to burn it in, a, in your backyard. So uh, when will we see you on, let's say, Dateline or... <laughs> Forensic Files. Never. Forensic Files. I mean, mm -hmm. However, I will say this. I think I am smart enough to be, you know, a killer. Because the, the people that are serial killers, they're actually very intelligent. I think mm -hmm. you guys all know this from watching wow. TV mm -hmm. shows. It seems like you wear that like a badge of honor, Nate. Well, it's you know, people are, you know, dumb. the dumb people get caught. Smart people don't get caught. Ooh. I could see you being Ted Bundy-ish. I'm quite charming. Mm -hmm. You're he's more. Quite, uh, he's, quite charming. he's more. Uh, 
Oh God, the guy that dressed up like a, like a clown. That guy. John, oh, Wayne John Wayne Gacy. John, you're more like a John Wayne oh, Gacy. Hey, they just identified <laughs> another John Wayne Gacy victim, like today or yesterday. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Still wow. coming out. Still coming so out. why stop at this one uh, Sears sucker stealing murder victim? What about all the others that maybe you've had something to do with? Well, maybe mm. there's some that you don't even know about. I Not bet saying you there I are. did. See, look, <laughs> see, look how the tables have turned. He started out by denying, 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 mm-hmm. and now he's kind of now I'm playing into it. it. Yeah, you're mm. embracing it. Any unsolved cases, they should look your way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. Anyway, so where she is today, we don't know, mm-hmm. and probably since Nate is so smart, we'll never know. I was very <laughs> upset when she took that jacket. I gotta say. I, it is kind of cold. Like, if I took somebody's jacket, I would definitely give it back, even if I didn't want to see them again. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. jacket? Not Unless if you're they dead, were... Gandhi. I know. This is true. Or Nate if they has were killed... the worst date in the world and the most awful person. Then oh, I wouldn't come want on. To see them Nate again. has killed so many people, NBC's renaming the show Nate Line. <laughs> 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 very funny, Elvis. Love very it. funny. All right, well, so that's the story about, mm-hmm. about how Nate yeah. was branded a murderer. Falsely accused. I might add, mm-hmm. falsely accused. Whatever. Yeah.